My name is Miguel. I'm from Valencia, be, uh, like 300 kilometers south from here. Um, I used to be a musician, but well, here I am now. Uh, this is my app. It's Accounting Wizard. Save your, solve your money problems. It's not going to give you money, but well, it's going to help you deal with it. Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank Antonov as. Many, many of us before this amazing logo was made for him, from him, uh, by him, sorry, and well, I hope you like it. Uh, well, first thing, I'm the first guy using Linux, so if something goes wrong, please forgive that, and I want to apologize for my dog that has been barking like for the whole fucking day, and uh, he's, she's been giving some people problems. Well, these are the technologies I used. Um, it's mostly the same as everyone else. Uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the front end with AngularJS. MongoDB as a, the main database. Bootstrap for the, for the uh, styling. It was quite helpful. Uh, Node.js and Express and, well, TypeScript. It was a bit of a pain, but, well, <laughs> whatever. Um, okay. What I want to tell a bit is that this idea that I had came from my, my dad. He had this uh, accounting program from like, he, he, made, he made it himself uh, like 30 years ago. And uh, it, was, uh, it, it is like a program to deal with all the expenses in your house. Like it has everything figured out mo most. Uh, most of the time, and uh, it, it is a really good idea, but the problem is this. This is his program, <laughs> <laughs> and it is not supported by the, the most modern OSs, so he has like a really old laptop that still runs Windows XP, because it's the last OS from Windows that can support this, and well, it has like a lot of stuff, but I, I felt like I wanted to upgrade it so he can use like a, like he can use it on his main computer in his phone or whatever. So the idea for this, this app is that basically you come here. Um, I don't have the screen in my laptop, so I have to be like a, a bit sideways. You log in. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's a problem. Okay, so it's not working. Uh, yeah, it is working. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's not that responsive. <laughs> but the idea, uh, it looks pretty simple. Uh, it was uh, one of the goals to make it just an accounting uh, helper for you. So here, as you log in, you have like your uh, graph. Right now, has one expense because it's like. The, uh, the, the database from Meroku is just, I just put it one. But so uh, just uh, that you can see it, if you come here where it says movements, you can add a, a movement. What is a movement? Any kind of expense. You select either credit card or bank account. You select the bank account. As for now, I just have one. But Well, this laptop is like seven years old, so bear with me. So you select the amount, the date, the concept, and the main expense group. <coughs> the expense group is something that my dad had figured out. Like, there is 10 main expenses group. And then after that, uh, it, it is a work in progress. It's not finished. So one of the things I want to do is uh, either uh, each one of those expense groups has like 10 subgroups. Like, uh, but also you will be able to, to manage those expenses groups because maybe I want to, to have this group about, I don't know, dog food, whatever. But, and I don't have a car, but maybe another guy has a car and he wants to use another expense group. Uh, and so they will be updatable, uh, changeable, whatever. So you, you put the, the amount of spends, 1,000 euros because I have a lot of money. Uh, you put the date because afterwards it's filterable. 
the concept will be ASDF, ASDF. And well, you have, this is uh, hard coded as for now, but as I said, it will be uh, updatable and interchangeable. So if you want to delete one, it will be available for you. As you uh, add this, well, it was added in March, but as you can see, it's uh, $1,500, uh, whatever the, the money you use. Uh, it's updated uh, instantaneously, and you can add as many as you want. They show here, like, it's really cool how they show, because uh, uh, afterwards you will be able to have, like, a lot of, uh, as many bank accounts as you want. Uh, you can add them, edit them, I will show you afterwards. But, uh, and then you also can have credit cards, because they don't work the same way. And so you have this chart, and also you have this movement list, which is, uh, you can sort them, uh, as for now, you, uh, I just have two movements, but you can sort them by card off account or, or account, you can sort them by spend script, so you can like see what your expenses were uh, this past month, for example. Okay? Uh, the debt list is a work in progress, but uh, the thing is, my problem with this app is that my, my dad had all figured out. Like, uh, you have to add debts, you have to add uh, uh, loans, whatever. Uh, so it is still a work in progress, but uh, besides these two things, this will have like a, a print button, so you can print your expenses for this month or whatever. And also you have the settings, of course, uh, where you can like uh, change your, your name, uh, your email account, it updates. So, uh, and also you can add uh, cards, credit cards, or bank accounts, and you can edit them. Uh, the way you edit them is that uh, this is just, I will show you just, if you create a credit card that is related to the bank account, so uh, you name it whatever, you, you say the available credit he has, uh, this card has per month, so it will update as you uh, add expenses to it, you can also add incomes, and also you, you have the expiration date. Uh, today, for instance. So you add the card, and as you can see, this updates. You have a new credit card here that has no movements, movements as for now, but if you add movements, it shows up. And in the settings, uh, you can edit both of them. You can edit the fields are, are actually editable, because if you have a credit card, you will not be able to change the bank. You know, because, uh, well, you cannot say, hey, I want to switch banks and I want to keep my credit card. No, it doesn't work like that. So uh, you can update the credit because sometimes you can, like, upgrade the, the amount of credit you have available in that card. But, and you can also just delete them. You see, and um, well, that's pretty much it. Still a work in progress, but 